I'm Dr. Suzanne Bartlett Hackenmiller. My talk is called Solving the Climate Crisis, A Trail of Healing, A Planet and Its People. Unprecedented. As if a pandemic were not enough, 2020 will be remembered for racial unrest. It will be remembered too for devastating natural disasters from forest fires to hurricanes. At this unique moment in history, the demands for equity and the effects of climate change have converged at the intersection of environmental justice. An action plan called Solving the Climate Crisis is a roadmap for recovery that is proposed in the United States Congress. The plan calls for national protection of at least 30% of U.S. lands and ocean areas by 2030. It aims to implement conservation strategies, invest in clean energy, reduce pollution, and improve infrastructure against the effects of climate change. It would strengthen environmental justice initiatives by reestablishing the Civilian Conservation Corps and by hiring individuals from vulnerable populations. I wanted to to highlight three programs that already exemplify these ideas. The program SHINE studies and promotes activity in nature as a preventive health intervention. Founder Dr. Nusheen Razani and her colleagues join their patients in nature outings. On one outing, the mother of a child with asthma who lives in Oakland, California, where air quality is poor, discovered that her son could play in the woods with other kids without suffering an asthma attack. Felipe Benitez says his aha moment came after his son spent the summer at an outdoor camp away from their home in the city. In six weeks, his son had soared through developmental milestones and no longer required a planned tonsil surgery. Benitez founded Corazon Latino to bring nature experiences to the Latino community. In Brownsville, Texas, where over 66% of the population lives below twice the poverty level, 94% of people identify as Latino, pollution is high, and residents experience the highest rate of limb amputations due to diabetes in the state of Texas. The Rails to Trails Conservancy is seeing returns from the 291 miles of trails in the Caracara Trails Project. A trails calculator determined that in one year, people living near the trails were 22% more physically active than those who live further away. This translates into six to $12 million in savings of averted medical costs. The trails project, along with a local wellness campaign, is believed to have contributed to a decline in the incidence of type two diabetes in Brownsville by 1.3% in one year. At a time when diabetes rates are increasing in the rest of the state and country, that is notable. To heal as a nation, we must address the sources of our illness, pollution, destruction, and oppression. Supporting solving the climate crisis and programs such as those outlined are simple steps on the trail to recovery. That trail is literal. As Rails to Trails project manager Eva Garcia says, trails help us across the board, from equity to economics to health.